IITA, the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, is one of Africa's leading research partners in finding solutions for hunger and poverty. 40 years of award-winning science. We employ an Africa-wide network of world-class scientists who anticipate future issues and are flexible to meet new challenges. Our agricultural research reduces consumer and producer risk, increases productivity and generates wealth. So let us look at four examples of IITA's work. Cassava is the main staple of over 300 million people in Africa. We continuously look for solutions to pests, diseases and drought. With the current rapid advance in genomics technology, there are a wide spectrum of tools to enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of plant breeding. In crops such as cassava, it takes very long time to develop varieties. For example, breeding for resistance to two important virus diseases in cassava, cassava mosaic disease and cassava brown streak disease, could take several years. So we are trying to employ genomics technology to speed up this variety development process. Prompted by the release of the draft cassava genome sequence recently, uh, in IITA there is work in progress to employ these genomic tools such as high throughput SNP genotyping, linkage analysis, QTL mapping to speed up the variety development process through marker assisted selection. In the coastal region of Tanzania alone, annual losses from brown streak have been estimated at $50 million. But cassava is much more than a staple crop. Cassava is, of course, one of the most important staple commodities in Africa. And with global climate change, it's likely to increase in importance. We at IITA, working with our um, partners in government, in NGOs, and in uh, private enterprises, uh, we need to get our technologies out to farmers and make sure they have the knowledge that they need so that together they can be successful and make a profit from growing cassava in addition to having cassava as food. Yam is a major staple food and source of income for over 60 million people in Africa, with more than 90% of the world's annual yam production of about 40 million tons. Yam is a part of the culture. We've taken the traditional varieties that have limitations in terms of yield potential and then also susceptibility to diseases and pests and then improved on this through studies on the genetic potential. We National program partners can now use the range of varieties, pass it on to the farmers and the farmers, processors and consumers can all benefit. Chocolate, a treat for you and me. IITA's public-private partnership with the cocoa industry has shown how high-tech research can have socio-economic benefits. About 60% of the world supply of cocoa comes from Ghana, Côte d'Ivoire, Nigeria and Cameroon. Groundbreaking work over many years on sequencing genotypes has been undertaken by our scientists. This partnership has directly led to the regeneration of cocoa plantations, improved work practices, production techniques and income. As you know, cocoa is security and wealth for all the smallholder farmers in Western Central Africa. IITA has been involved with the various national institutes in Western Central Africa and also with the farmers to develop many improved techniques. One of it is Farmers Field School to deal with farmers training to do good farming and these training modules are being now adopted by the private sector to do training for large-scale farmers. IITA has also involved in rehabilitations of cocoa farms using improved planting materials, combat diseases and pests, and also the threats of climate change. <laughs> The reason why it was possible to re-establish the company is that the output of cocoa, raw cocoa beans has gone up. 
We've made a long-term commitment to collect and conserve the germplasm of Africa's main staple food crops. So it's very important that we maintain these collections and make available collections of the genetic diversity of our important staple crops for Sub-Saharan Africa. Those will be the foundations of the future improvement of those crops which is crucial to our food security. Now that we are in Southern Africa, the germplasm we have actually generated from here fits very well in Southern Africa. With little modification, simply pick some of these technologies from West Africa and start trying them in Southern Africa because they share the same ecology. These were just a few examples of our work. We continue to commit ourselves to operate effectively throughout Sub-Saharan Africa rapidly responding to different challenges and ever-changing producer and consumer needs. Working closely with local, national and international partners. We absolutely have to work uh, toward a pathway mm -hmm. which uh, puts research in a position that is alleviating constraint of development. So the research we're doing has to be relevant to development mm -hmm. and it has not be research in isolation. Mm -hmm. And basically we would like to link up with some of the partners who are really um, working on the major outcomes uh, which are affecting Africa, such as poverty. To really make excellent progress in research and development for agriculture in Africa, we need to partner with excellent delivery and dissemination organizations and research organizations and we are aggressively looking for best partners and working with really good partners and of course the future is capacity building we have to build the capacity of the national research programs of the universities human capacity and even infrastructure capacity etc